Hey guys, Cass here, and today I'm going to be doing a part vlog, part discussion, part opinions piece on a certain topic. So, not massively, but a little bit, there's been a little bit of discourse around whether Date Me Bryson Keller is plagiarised or copied or a little bit sus in terms of story and concept because seven days exists. So yeah. I've heard a little bit about this. Seven Days is a manga that came out before Damien Bryson Keller. I've seen the author of this book mention that he's a fan of this book, but hasn't said that this was directly ripped from here. I've seen some reviews that say, oh, it's just a copy of this. So this video is gonna be me and my opinions. I'm gonna read both these books. I'm gonna see where we're at. I'm gonna see whether it's just a similar sort of storyline that people have got out of hand with or whether the specific aspects of these books that are so similar it's not a coincidence. So the very very small detail of this that I know is that this book and also this book is about some sort of weird dating arrangement that lasts a week and that perhaps after that dating arrangement the characters fall for each other when in fact they weren't necessarily wanting or caring about each other when it first started. That's where we're at. That's what we're going to see. So yeah, I'm starting Seven Days. I'm going to read this first. It was the original one that came out. I'm going to see all the different characters, all the different aspects of the story, if there's certain little flavours here and there, and reasons that people do certain things. And then I'm going to read Date Me Bryson Keller and see if those things and stuff and characterizations overlap or whether it's just a similar sort of concept that's got out of hand in being called plagiarization. So, I mean, that's the intro. Can't really say more than that. I need to read them now. So let's see. So I'm one day into this and the basic premise is that there's this one guy that goes out with somebody on the Monday anyone can ask him out and he'll go out with that girl for a week and then he'll dump her and then what perceives to be our main character just randomly decides on a whim hmm maybe if I ask him out will he go out with me and the guy said yes so that's how it happens obviously I haven't read Dating Bryce and Kelly yet but on the front of that one the tagline is something along the lines of something like true love is only a dare away so perhaps the going together in that one is a dare rather than just a whim thing. We shall see. Carrying on with this now. So I just finished seven days. Gotta love how quickly a manga goes by. And obviously I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to do big fat spoilers. But it was cute. There were some specific things that I think are quite important in this book that I will be keeping my eye out to see if the other book has. Namely sort of the miscommunication between the two, if they like each other, if they don't, if it's just a silly thing they're doing or if it's an actual datey thing. There's also an ex, a little bit of a toxic ex for one of them. So we'll see if that comes up in Date Me Bryce and Keller. And yes, now I've finished this, I'm gonna jump straight into that one so I can see if it reads the same or if it's just, you know, kind of the similar main plot but actually a different thing. Or if it's a big fat copyright claim, we shall see. Okay, so I've only read the prologue bit of this, not very much, what is it, like seven or eight pages. But I thought I'd jump in straight away to say that sort of the setup of this whole dating thing is completely different in the books. In this, the whole dare thing that I mentioned on the front cover, is the guy who is doing the week dating. It's this whole, oh, we dare you to date somebody different every week. And if you don't, then there's a punishment. If you do, then you win kind of thing. Whereas in seven days, it's more of a guy trying to find love. He genuinely wants to, but he only gives a certain amount of time and he doesn't get physical with anybody. And if he doesn't have them feeling straight away, then he's just like, you know what? I'm not into this, let's part ways. And the whole we'll date you for a week has kind of been built up around the school because he goes out with people so often. But in his mind, it hurts him that he thinks that people think that he's only like a week long fantasy and then you leave. 
Whereas in this one, obviously I've only read the tiny little bit, but the whole setup is different. Because I thought with the whole date thing at the front, it was going to be the guy was dead to go and ask out this person that does the week-long dating, but it's actually the person doing the week-long dating that is dead to do so. So yeah, let's carry on. So it's the next day and I've finished Date Me Bryce and Keller. So, my thoughts, my opinions, is it plagiarised? First of all, yes, these are my opinions. There's no way of me saying that this is fact or not fact. There's no way for anyone to say that, but this is how I feel about the situation. First of all, let's just talk about this a little bit. The characters in here, their personalities, the way they interact, completely different to Seven Days. The way homophobia, religion, race, the main characters mix race, is talked about in here, is completely not a thing in Seven Days. The way the characters interact with each other, the becoming more than fake dating, the little flirty things and are they, are they actually both liking each other, is completely different to Seven Days. The one thing that is the same is the fact that this is a week long fake dating thing, but even that's different. This is Monday to Friday at school, this is Monday to Sunday, so even that is not exact. The way that this whole week-long dating thing comes about is completely different in both of them. So in seven days, the whole, oh, this guy dates a different person every week is kind of a thing that the school has decided because he himself is somebody that is genuinely trying to find a connection with people, but if he doesn't find it after seven days, or after a week or after however long, he'll break it off with that person because he's actively looking for a relationship, for feelings. Is It's a lot about him dealing with the fact that he has feelings or had feelings for this other specific girl and he's trying to find somebody else that, that he can have them feelings for. And even during this, when our main character mentions like, oh, I guess in a few days we'll be broken up anyway, He's upset because he doesn't want people to think that he only purposefully dates people for a week and it's not, it's not a thing, that's not why he wants to do it. That's something that his peers have kind of pushed and as a narrative onto him. In Date Me Bryce and Keller, right at the beginning, they're at a party and the whole thing is Bryce and Keller just doesn't think relationships in high school are a important he's like what's the point don't care don't want one and then he's dared to have them have a relationship every week monday to friday for like three months or something like that with a different person and then there's rules put to this it's a whole thing like oh you can't ask anybody out they have to ask you and it's whoever's the first person to ask you is one that you'll go out with and if in three months you lose you have to take the bus instead of your car it's just it's all this sort of jovial Oh, he doesn't want a girlfriend or a relationship anyway, and people are kind of like, ha, I bet you can't deal with it, let's make it a joke, make it a dare. Which is completely the opposite sort of feelings involved. This one actively trying to find a connection with someone. This one saying that relationships in high schools are, are unimportant and don't care, so yeah, I'll do a dare. So, they're quite different. But the main thing that people are saying is, this book plagiarises this book. Does it? And the answer to that question is, it depends on how you define plagiarism. Plagiarism states that you're taking the idea of somebody else and actively making it seem like it's your own. So, does taking the concept, the structure of having a week with a different person, the same or specific enough for this book, for this book to have actively plagiarised it. This is something that people have to decide on their own. I can't tell you that that's how you decide the word plagiarism works or whether it doesn't work like that. So what we're really deciding is whether that is a specific enough concept that if anybody else does it, then they definitely took it from here and they're plagiarising. But it's not like that sort of thing doesn't exist in media in general. 
For example, girl of the week is a very obvious trope that has been going on for many, many, many years in TV, in films, in books. Generally, a straight, white, male, masculine person each week has a different woman on his arm and then the next week it's somebody else's. Think James Bond, think Star Trek, think Supernatural, not in a specific way of once a week, but that very much Dean, Sam, randomly each episode or one episode randomly, but have a different girl. But it's not a thing, they don't, they don't care about that girl. Woman of the week. So is seven days not just subverting the woman of the week trope and saying, hey, that's very cis white male, why don't we make that gay? Is that not a subversion of that trope mixed with the trope of fake relationship, fake dating, that is also a thing that is done a lot in media, in books, in films, in TV shows. So is Seven Days taking the woman of the week trope flipped on its head to be male male and taking the fake dating trope together enough to say that this is an original thought that if anybody else does anything similar then it's plagiarization, don't read it, it's trash, this author is not allowed anybody to enjoy their work. Again, that's up to you to decide. Me personally, I think that no, it's not. I mean, specifically in this book, let me find it right at the end. So in the author's note, he actively thanks Scam, season three, because that's the gay season, to all the boys I loved before, Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda, Seven Days, and 90s rom-com She's All That, as inspiration for this book. So to me, personally, that is somebody enjoying these works and wanting to create their own work with similar vibes to all the boys I loved before, fake dating, seven days, the whole week-long dating thing. Scam, a boy coming to terms with his sexuality and, a, a, and another boy, him liking that boy, but does that boy like him back? They all mix up into here to become their own thing. I've seen on Goodreads people probably haven't read it because people do this a lot, one star things and call it something that it isn't. But I've seen people give it one stars and say, oh, the synopsis of this is exactly like Seven Days, basically. So it's a carbon copy, it's plagiarised, it's the same. When our synopsis is pretty much the same for a lot of things, I mean, any fantasy that has royalty and fantasy, the synopsis are probably going to sound the same. Any contemporary that is the nerdy person going out with the jock who's closeted, gay contemporary, they're going to have similar synopsises. These books are completely different in every way except the fact that there is a week-long dating thing and it's a boy and boy. So does that give it enough reason to be hated and to be trashed and for people to actively tell other people to avoid this book? Because I think this is really damaging and really harmful to small authors. I don't know if this is the author's debut, but I've never heard of him before. So if it's not the debut, it's definitely one of a few, not a lot. But I've been seeing this a lot recently in the book community where they will actively try to harm people that are either small authors that have only got a few books out or debut authors and people telling others to just avoid their work because they don't like it. This one is told to be avoided because it's stealing the work of people of colour women when this is by a gay mixed race religious person and he's talking about being a gay religious mixed race person. There's another book recently came out, How It All Blew Up, a book that people are calling not Muslim enough and is written by a gay Muslim person of colour and people are telling others to actively avoid it because it's not Muslim enough. Can this thing stop? Can people stop telling others to not read a book because it's not their specific individual take on a situation it also happens with Loveless a bit. People actively pan in Loveless as not a representation of an arrow ace person that they perceive that they are. But Alice Oseman is an arrow ace person. So just because it doesn't sit with your definition of it doesn't mean that it's wrong. And I know that's getting a little bit away from this because the whole thing behind this isn't that people are saying that this is not a good representation of a gay, mixed race, religious boy 
but I just don't like this whole thing that people are moaning that oh it's stolen the idea of uh, a woman of colour as if the author is not also an author of colour and talking about their own experiences and taking a specific, yes it's a specific thing but a very very specific but broad thing because the way it's done in here is completely different. I really enjoyed both of these books and they're really not the same. To me personally you can't copyright an idea that broad. You can't say oh well a week long fake dating thing has been done so nobody else can do it. I'm sure the first person that ever wrote a book where the nerdy person goes out with the closeted jock did not then say anybody else that does that are stealing my idea. The first person who wrote a book where two people fake dated and then they fell in love did not then claim that that idea, if anybody else does it, is plagiarism. That's my take on it anyway. So if you've read either of these books or if you've seen the discourse or if you have any opinions or if you want to read them or if you think I'm wrong then let me know down below. It was all an opinion. It's all up to you whether you decide one way or the other. What I would say is if you haven't read this book don't go on one star on Goodreads and say it's plagiarising this book because you haven't read it and you don't actually know what you're talking about. If you have read them both and you still decide that this is a plagiarised version of this book then have at it, one star it, tell your reasons why because that's fine. You're allowed your opinion if you've actually consumed both of these and have decided one way or the other. But don't just listen to somebody else's opinion and then and then that's fact because I really don't like that. I really don't like this whole discourse that book Twitter, booktube, book people have got into that because somebody else has said that something is something then let's just all tell everybody that thing is something when we haven't actually looked into it ourselves. We've just decided on somebody else's opinion. So yeah, leave some words down below if you want to. If you enjoyed this video then please check out some of the others and if you continue to enjoy them please subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway guys, I'll see you on Friday with a big ass unhaul, it'll be way less dramatic. Bye. I guess it depends on whether you really like the books I'm unhauling, then maybe it is dramatic.